Hey guys, and welcome back to Heart Breathings. I am so excited to show you an inside of my May planner. I love this one. I'm using another Kiki K A5 binder today. I also wanted to just come on before we get started and say happy Mother's Day to any of our mothers out there. I also have a fun giveaway today of Heart Breathings HB90 Method stickers. This giveaway will be open until Friday, so you have several days to enter. Let me show you and give you some of the details on how to enter, but make sure you stay tuned to the end. Okay, guys, so let's take a look inside this absolutely gorgeous Kiki K planner. So as you know, if you watched last month's set up. I also used a Kiki K planner in mint. So again, this is one of my newer A5 and Kiki K is, I believe, potentially going out of business. So I've been kind of eyeing a couple other of theirs online because the quality is just my favorite. I love these planners and I'm so sad they might be going out of business. But this one is, I think, called Dusty Rose and it has some gorgeous rose gold accents to it. I also bought, just like last month, the matching pin and have immediately taken out the pin that comes with it and instead used the Pilot Precise V5 RT refills, which I absolutely love. So it's fun having kind of a matching pin. I also have a couple other exciting things to talk about today. If you missed my last video, there are HP90 Method stickers, you guys. I don't have them all sitting right out here because I've been already started to use them but oh look at this so we've got plotting ones that have a little puzzle some write stickers with laptops that you can write your word count in sprint some more writing ones with my signature color of teal deadline stickers to do checklists newsletters brainstorm there are also so many more you guys the entire set of stickers is actually inside this little puppy right here and let me tell you these are being made by my friend adrian michelle she's also an author and we've been friends for a while and she's the one who designed all of these stickers i'm so excited to bring them to you she has an etsy shop called procrasta planner etc over on etsy she is currently also working on getting them to be shipped internationally but you guys just be super kind and patient because right now due to the virus there is a lot of extra cost with shipping overseas so hopefully eventually this will become less expensive and if she doesn't ship to your country it's not her fault or her choice or my choice it's just because it's not as easy right now to ship all over the world but Hopefully in brighter days, it will be available to everyone at much cheaper costs, but just please be understanding about the fact that it might be a little bit more expensive to try to ship these overseas right now, and we'll just hope that you know that will change in the future but hopefully you're excited about this and hopefully you will be able to get your hands on these i also am going to be giving away this entire set of hb90 method stickers if you want to see a closer look at all of them go to my previous video that i just recorded on how i won camp nanowrimo i have an entire like walkthrough of all the stickers that you can win i will be holding this giveaway uh, open until friday this week and then i'll be choosing one lucky winner so stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how to win also before we get started i just wanted to say a huge thank you to my friend and subscriber jennifer evelyn hayes sent this to me and i just picked it up in my p.o box yesterday and there wasn't a note with it so i wasn't sure exactly who it had come from but i found out that it was jennifer you guys how perfect is this mug for me if you've been following my story and my journey for a while you know that not only are dragonfly is so important to me but I also love the word believe it was the very first thing I ever had tattooed it's just the perfect mug and this is a handmade thing and I will put the link to the Etsy shop where you can find these mugs down below but I just wanted to say a very heartfelt thank you to Jennifer Evelyn Hayes for sending this to me um, she has is not only a subscriber that I met through this channel, but has become a dear friend. So thank you very much for that. I've been getting a lot of amazing things in my mailbox lately. So thank you all so much. I've gotten some amazing cards. I've gotten some masks. I've gotten stickers and actually just also got this little Hello Kitty with a planner. I mean, how cute is this? So thank you guys for thinking of me. Every time I pick something up, it just means the world to me. So I really appreciate it. All right, so let's flip through my May plan 
planner set up. As usual, I am using the digital dash box from Planner Press. I am not an affiliate, I just use it all the time. So if you want to get in on this, if you also like setting up your planner different every single month, this is a great way to do it because she has designs in lots of different sizes, everything from Happy Planner to Erin Condren to Hobonichi to A5, A6, personal rings and traveler's notebooks, everything. So the designs change every month. So she has this Hermes bag that has become the planner pouch. And so I have all of my stickers in it and it's starting to get too full because I've got too many stickers that I'm paying attention to or using right now. I probably should pare those down. But for now, I've got tons of stickers, including the new HB90 themed stickers. So I tend to keep that pouch right here in the zipper pocket because I do just come back and use those all the time. Some of the other things I have up here are I've got this little bow from Scheduled Planners that I also had in last month's planner. I've put the new Hello Kitty clip down here as well because it just matches perfectly. So thank you, Debbie, for that. Then she had some ephemera and some different types of little images that came with the download. So I've printed those out and laminated them. This is also the same girl that she had in a die cut there. I cannot remember for the life of me where I got these little stickers. I'm really just not sure. It could be from Jet Pins, but I haven't actually used them. They're kind of like little washi stickers and there's really just one per little plexiglass thing, but they kind of work as decoration when they match your planner so well. So I decided when I saw them, I was like, oh, I'm gonna stick those down in there because they just look really cute with the colors of the planner. I also have a few little Coffee Monsters Co. die cuts, a little Hermione and a little Harry Potter um, paper clip as well. I also just went ahead and took this little piece from the digital dash box and laminated it. This was supposed to be like a little pin pouch and I had messed up on the back. So I thought, oh, I'll just print out this little grid and laminate it and stick it in the front. So it becomes, it's not really functional, but it just becomes a little pop of decoration. I also am just in love with the rose gold rings in this planner. Everything just comes together so beautifully. So this is the first of the dashboards that I used as well as this beautiful palm. He, these are the post-it notes that you can print with the digital dash box. I also have a little Hello Kitty one. And look, you guys, if you've been following my setups for a while, you will know that I have been talking about replacing the photos in this little Webster's Pages photo sheet so often and I'm like, oh, I just haven't done it, I haven't done it. And I had kept the same photos for maybe over a year now. So I have actually taken the time to print out new photos. So this is obviously photos since Evie was born and it just makes me so happy every time I open my planner to see my sweet little girl and my little boy and just have our family complete. I also have these uh, little side tab ones that I made. This all comes from the digital dash box. So this first section, is mostly just notes. So I've been taking notes on makeup that I want to buy and just different points for Andrew and things like homeschooling stuff. I've got this little vellum sheet and a few others that you'll see also came from Planner Press, but not the digital dash box. This is from her Etsy shop, a little wonton and a million clip. This is another one of the dashboards and I really love this. And this is why I chose this particular planner because I thought, oh, these little fabric rolls look so perfect with this dusty rose. On the back of this one is that same Hermes bag that you see in the planner pouch, but it's mostly covered in various sticky notes. I think I lost one sadly here. And then another tab. Then I also have been using and loving these little pom-pom ones from Schedule Planner. She has so many different colors and I'm loving them so much that I feel like I wanna go back and get all the colors. Oh, I gotta hold myself back. So I also have monthly spreads here, which for the first time this year, I am actually kind of doing a little bit to decorate, not a lot, but a little bit. I've got my son's birthday on here. The next round of HB90 will be the week of June 14th. So I'm already kind of making plans for that. So a little bit of progress on my monthly spreads, but I have the whole year here done up in washi tape, which looks very pretty. I also have this little, I'm too creative for nine to five. 
and another tab. This little like brownish palm frond looks so pretty with this too, doesn't it? I mean, it's just the colors turned out so beautiful. This is one of the things, again, I just love about being able to switch up my planner. I know that a lot of you don't necessarily love A5 rings because either the rings get in the way or you just don't like um, the setup of the rings for some reason, or you don't like printing for, for A5, which I understand can be a pain, but I absolutely love it. This is why I love it, because you can just really customize it and change it out for yourself. You could do that with Traveler's Notebooks too. So I have also switched out the folder that I'm using. This folder came from maybe like a June or July of 2019 digital dash box. So this was not in this month's, but I seemed to think that it matched pretty well because of the palm trees and beach life, even though sadly we can't really go to the beaches. <laughs> It will happen someday. We're going to get our normal lives back, hopefully. So I made a double folder and I've been loving keeping a ton of my stickers in these folders because I do reference these all the time. I also pulled out some Pumpkin Paper Co. stickers that I had from before that I haven't been using for a while. So I'm kind of falling in love with those again. <laughs> Then look, more super cute little pictures here. Um, Evie after the bath and Evie and Andrew. Look at this sweet girl, our little family. And this is, she was only just a couple weeks old in this picture. Uh, and this was, a lot of these here were the day she was born. And some of these others were from when she was a couple months old, maybe. So just, I'm so happy to have these photos in here now. Just warms my heart. Then we have the main part of my planner, which is, of course, the HB90 method piece of the puzzle here. And I have my weekly spreads and everything else in here. This was last week, and I have not had a chance to sit down and decorate and plan for next week, but I will do it. If you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, my Instagram is at heartbreathingsblog and every single morning, Monday through Friday, I've been doing a short little coffee chat and it's been actually really fun. I would love for you to join us, join in the conversation. Of course, you can't comment on a story except to send it to me, but I've been loving seeing your comments about the day and things like that. So I would love for you to come watch those Instagram stories and join us on my Instagram over there. And I actually planned the entire week this week, which is unusual for me. A lot of times I will do the daily pages all the way up through like Thursday and then the weekend I won't do, but I've actually done a pretty good job. I just need to finish my weekly review. And since it's the month of May, I moved my April pages out and moved the entire month of May into my planner, which is what I do. I do have a lot of people that ask me, what do I do with the old pages? And I usually just take those and put those in another one of my six ring binders and I'll keep them. I just don't keep them in this current planner because there's only so much space. The next tab has this pretty, I don't even know, floofy plant. What do you call that? And I just put those fabric rolls on the back and some of the older digital dash post-it notes. Then the elusive social media planner. I've had a lot of people ask about this too. I have actually been using this a little bit myself, but... It needs work, which is why I haven't actually published it yet. And right now I'm so swamped with my time. I just haven't had time to do it. I have been tracking my social media growth every month for both Sarah Cannon and for Heart Breathings, but I just feel like the planner itself needs some design work. So it's just not good enough yet to put it out, but it is coming hopefully this year we just got thrown for a little bit of a loop. Y'all, this is so funny too. I don't know, well, you'll be able to see it maybe. Look at this, I laminated my hair. So somehow when I was making this tab, a piece of my hair got stuck in it and it's laminated. I've thought about just cutting it off or taking this tab off, but it just kind of makes me laugh. <sighs> Mom life, y'all, I just didn't have time to redo it. So you've got the palm fronds here, which is so beautiful. And then she had this pretty animal print in this particular um, digital dash box. So I use that on the back here and it's really pretty. So these are some of my book covers. These have been in my planner for a while. And then I've got some of my like writing plan stuff. The next digital dash box 
dashboard. And then I've got my heart breathing social media planner. So I've got my goals and I've been tracking at least for the past three months in this planner. And again, I do sometimes try to use it, but again, same, same story. Then some more of my covers. And the final one just has a kind of, not a vision board, but just sort of a future me exercise that I did. So I'm leaving that in here. This little piece of, um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's not cardstock because it's plastic. It's like a hard plastic came with this planner and I'm leaving it here in the back so that the rings don't dent the back of this. And then there's also a pretty little notes pad in the back. So that is a flip through of my May planner. I really am loving this dusty rose color. It's absolutely beautiful with the rose gold and I love it. Now I just have to decide if I want to invest in some um, of the other Kiki K planners that are still up on their site because I'm afraid they're going to go out of business and then I will never be able to get them again. And so they do have a few A5 planners on their site right now that I don't have that are 40% off. Uh, I don't know. I got to make a decision. <laughs> but moving on to the giveaway. So if you would like to enter to win a pack of HB90 Method stickers from myself and Adrian, then all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed, make sure that you comment down below and that you have liked this video. And I will be choosing one winner this upcoming Friday and it will ship internationally or you know anyone is welcome to enter and I will get it shipped out to you sometime after Friday. Um, if you want to order your own stickers, these are amazing. The quality is so good and she really has a lot on each sheet. So definitely check those out and you can support not only this channel, but also her Etsy shop. She has some other great stickers on her shop as well, not just the HB91. So be sure you check out everything in her store. Um, also, just as a reminder, I did link this in my previous video and I'm going to leave that link for you down below as well. My friend Catherine at Layton Sports Massage has some visualizations that are really good for relieving stress right now and helping you to relax that are pay what you can. So even if you can only pay, you know, a couple dollars or $10 for these visualizations, they are really amazing. So if you've been having some extra stress or tension in your shoulders or your muscles, definitely check out those visualizations visualizations from my friend Catherine. I thought that would be a good resource for you guys. So I will link that down below. If you would like to support me in other ways, I also have a book called Once Upon a Kiss that is an anthology that is on 99 cent sale today is the last day we've been trying to hit the usa today bestseller list i it's really up in the air we're going to be right on the edge so it's not looking like it's super likely that we'll hit this time but it has been a great run and we've been really really excited about all the sales so if you want to continue to support me go ahead and grab a copy of that anthology of great authors down below for 99 cents. And my newest book, The Witch's Key is up on pre-order. So I will link that down below for you as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this May flip through. I am really feeling like this year's planner setups have been some of my favorite ones that I've ever done. I also have a really fun new planner caddy that I can't wait to show you guys. And we have an entire set of videos coming up on how to write a series. That is still going to be a week or more away because I need to get through my edits before I have time to put that together. But there will be a how to write a series workbook coming with that that will be totally free for you to download. So I hope you're looking forward to that. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell, have a beautiful weekend, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.